coconut, pineapple, banana, sea urchins, turtle, octopus. Oh, I love them. I wanna be the schwa. It's never stress. Never. <laughs>
Absence of stress on a syllable or on a word is frequently associated in English with vowel reduction or omission in some cases, wherein many such syllables are pronounced with centralized vowel, the schwa, or with other vowels that are described as being reduced like the long E or E sound which is reduced into E or in other case omitted making a syllabic consonant as uh, the syllable nucleus rather than a vowel for example turtle we don't say turtle but turtle or turtle octopus or octopus we don't say octopus pineapple we don't say pineapple but pineapple chicken or chicken and so on as regards vowel reduction Various phonological analyses exist for this phenomena. These include finding the phonemes or the unique unit of sounds. We know that there are 26 letters of the English alphabet, don't we? But uh, many of us don't know that they can produce uh, 44 unique sounds or phonemes. They also include distinguishing difference between phonemes and allophones. Allophones are a set of uh, multiple possible spoken sounds. For example, pa with full aspiration for pot or pot and p with minimal aspiration only for spot or spot. In this video, I will highlight the following. A. The important roles played by the schwa sound or other unstressed vowels in reducing or omitting a vowel. Letter B. The lexical and prosodic stresses. And letter C. The rules to follow to successfully produce the sounds of the syllabic consonants ending in L, M, N, R, and S sounds. Always remember these symbols used in the reduction process. U and E. They are considered as schwa sounds. Now, on the issue of lexical stress and reduction, we need to consider the following. Articles or articles, conjunctions, helping verbs or helping verbs, prepositions, pronouns or pronouns. Now, for articles, I want to emphasize the definite article Z and Z. When to pronounce Z and when to pronounce Z. I mentioned in my previous blogs that Z is used if it is followed by a word beginning a vowel. For example, Z egg, Z apple, Z elephant. But the, if the next word starts with a consonant, for example, the fan, the pot, the pen, the dock, you don't say Z, but the. Now for conjunctions, I will focus on end connector end now the lexical stress is end 
but the reduced form is and or n. Now, when to use n and when to use n? N is normally used uh, for homorganic consonants. Homorganic means a uh, same place of articulation. For example, combination of pa, ba, ma, and others, we use N. For example, pot and beans. You don't say pot and beans, but pot and, pot and beans. M&M, M&M, the chocolate. You don't say M and M, but M&M. Top and bottom, top and bottom. You don't say top and bottom, but top and bottom. For helping verbs, we have four with lexical stress and the reduced ones. I will not emphasize much on this because there is nothing unusual about the forms. Same with prepositions. We have lexical forms and the always remember the reduced forms are used in phrases or in sentences. For example, preposition for it's for you you don't say it's for you but it's for you i come from dubai i come from dubai you don't say i come from dubai but from i come from dubai for pronouns uh, we also have a uh, lexical forms and the reduced ones the lexical stress for he she we and you we use them if the next word starts with a vowel for example he is my classmates he is my classmate but uh, if the next word starts with a consonant then we use the reduced one he he goes with me he goes with me you don't say he goes with me but he goes with me the same case with the she it's she if the next word starts with a vowel and she when the next one starts with a consonant Next form of reduction is syllabic consonant. We have uh, L and reduced to L, M reduced to M, N reduced to N, R reduced to U. Or in British, um, but in British, no reduced form is U. And S and the uh, S reduced to us. La sound, particularly words ending in AL, EL, UL as adjective, TLE, ABLE, IBLE. For example, Mendel. You don't say Mendel, but Mendel, or mental in British. Physical, physical. Apparel, apparel, or apparel, apparel. Parcel, parcel, or parcel, parcel. Beautiful beautiful or beautiful beautiful in british it is a uh, beautiful beautiful or beautiful beautiful harmful harmful or harmful harmful 
or harmful harmful or harmful harmful but not for noun ending in f u l or full it's handful handful mouthful mouthful you don't say mouthful you don't say handful ma especially words ending in d o m s o m and u m for example kingdom kingdom wisdom wisdom asam asam or awesome awesome handsome handsome or handsome handsome except for chromosome chromosome or chromosome chromosome they them they them or they them they them rectum rectum na sound particularly words ending in en as past participle of the verb t i o n s i o n x i o n for example hidden reason attention condition admission obsession complexion inflection r sound particularly words ending in a r e r i r o r o u r and u r for example alter alter or alter alter or alter alter burser burser or bursa bursa mother mother or mother mother theater theater or theater theater elixir elixir or elixir elixir neither neither or neither neither bulgur bulgur or bulgur bulgur murmur murmur or murmur murmur now words with s particularly ending in a n c e e n c e l e s s n e s s o u s n u s for example allowance allowance fragrance fragrance eloquence eloquence influence influence hopeless hopeless or hopeless hopeless loveless loveless kindness kindness goodness goodness ambitious ambitious delicious delicious gorgeous gorgeous or gorgeous gorgeous ridiculous 
ridiculous anus anus celsius celsius jesus christ jesus christ census and we have combination particularly words ending in meant for example basement basement enhancement enhancement or enhancement enhancement the ed ending of the regular verbs with final sound of a uh, ta or da in base or present forms we add an additional id and generally regarded as unstressed or swa sound accent or accent brand hand import or import land report or report sound support or support now if we conjugate those verbs into simple past and past participle forms we have um, accented accented or accented accented branded branded handed handed imported imported or imported imported landed landed reported reported or reported reported sounded sounded and supported supported or supported supported the following words carry the extra id when they are only used as uh, adjectives and therefore they are not included in the rule and they are usually preceded by uh, the definite article the when they function as nouns and they are normally used in categorizing people by class now under column one we have verb forms and um, column two adjective uh, forms for example aged aged it's a uh, aged aged its adjective form is a uh, the agent the agent blessed the blessed the blessed crooked the crooked the crooked earned earned the earned the earned learned learned the learned the learned by the way earned and learned are common in american english their forms in the british is earned and learned now the word naked has no verb form because it's an old english form and no longer used as verb nowadays so only the adjective form we have and it's a uh, the naked the naked ragged ragged the rugged the rugged wicked wicked the wicked the wicked wretched the richard the richard nouns or adjectives uh, ending in ate carry the swa sound however they change the final sound when used as verbs some dictionaries use it others use it for example 
Under column 1, we have nouns and adjective forms and column 2, verb forms. Approximate, approximate. Its verb form is approximate, approximate. Associate, associate or associate, associate. But its verb form is associate, associate, or associate, associate. Clang conglomerate, conglomerate, or conglomerate, conglomerate. It doesn't have a verb form because it's only used as noun or adjective. Consider it, consider it. It has also no verb form. Coordinate, coordinate, or coordinate, coordinate. Its verb form is coordinate, coordinate, or coordinate, coordinate. Delicate. Delicate. Next is expatriate, expatriate, or expatriate, expatriate. Its verb form is expatriate, expatriate. Graduate, graduate. Verb form is graduate, graduate. Separate, separate. Verb form is separate, separate. Subordinate, subordinate. Verb form is subordinate, subordinate. Or subordinate, subordinate. And the uh, surrogate, surrogate. Verb form is surrogate, surrogate. Question number one for five hour play. What do you call the unstressed central vowel regarded as the most neutral phoneme in English? And it is produced with the mouth only slightly open and the tongue in the middle of the mouth. What do you call the unstressed central vowel regarded as the most neutral phoneme in English? And it is produced with the mouth only slightly open and the tongue in the middle of the mouth. Now let's have exercises. For your exercises, you will do the prosthetic stress and reduction and the connected speech. Let's try the first one. Go on. Go on in American. But in British, is go on. Go on. But in connected speech, you will not say that way. Instead, Go on, go on, or go on, go on. Because the word go ends with O sound, we inserted uh, a slight and additional sound wa. Go on, go on, or go on. Next is uh, come and, come and. In connected speech, we say, come on, come on, uh, as if uh, these two words become uh, one word only. Break a leg, break a leg. In connected speech, break a leg, break a leg, as if they become one word only. 
Next, break a leg. Break a leg. But in connected speech, break a leg. Break a leg. Here is your question number two. For seven hour play, what other sound is used for the unstressed vowel? And it is considered as alternative of the most neutral vowel. What other sound is used for the unstressed vowel? And is considered as alternative of the most neutral vowel. Next, a blessing in disguise. A blessing in disguise. In kinetic speech, you say a blessing in disguise. A blessing in disguise. Next, beat around the bush. Beat around the bush. In connected speech, you say beat around the bush. Beat around the bush. Next. Better late than never. Better late than never. In British is better late than never. Better late than never. In connected speech we say better late than never. Better late than never. In British is better late than never. Better late than never. Now, as you notice, uh, we have to n, the ending of then, and the beginning of never. But in connected speech, we sound these two n ends as one single, single n. So, the never, the never, like this. Next, to add insult to injury. But in connected speech, we say toward insult to injury. Toward insult to injury. Again, because um, to ends with the u sound, so we created a slight and additional wa. Toward insult. Toward insult to injury. Toward insult to injury. Question number three for 10 hour play. What do you call the technique or process in listening the vowel sounds? What do you call the technique or process in listening the vowel sounds? And the last one, it's actually a sentence. Science without religion is lame. Religion without science is blind. In connected speech, we say, Science without religion is lame. Religion without science is blind. So as you notice, uh, the ending of um, S is connected with it and it sounds as sway, without, science without. And also science is, science is uh, blind. And um, religion is lame. Religion is lame. We prolong the z sound, and that's how we say it in connected speech. Science without religion is lame. Religion without science is blind. And here ends up my presentation for today. Thank you for watching this video. Once again, this is Robert Jordan inviting everyone to stay tuned to this channel. If you want to know more about bot reduction and if you want to be fluent in English grammatically and phonetically, please hit like, leave your comments below.
below. Share this video with your families, friends, and students. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon for the latest updates from my channel. Always remember, God loves us all. He loves us all. Always remember that God loves us all. He loves us all.